Well, good afternoon. Welcome to another edition of Three Minute Thursdays with the Max. All right, to start this video, I'm going to show you um, two ways that I've done it on the fence, and then I'm going to show you personally how I did it on uh, just in the back of a truck so that way you can see it uh, for yourself. So I did one that I, I wove it and where it, it kind of gets it real tight against each other and then one I put two circles together and mend it a certain way because it's next to a tree. So I'm going to show you both those ways. You can't notice it. I will tell you the pros and cons to both and uh, we'll get started. So right. All right. Today we're going to be talking about again mending fence the easy way. Now if you have uh, the conduits or the simple splicing tools that basically you can cut it Put a conduit on it slide it back together crimp it and you're done that is awesome that makes it look the best and that also tends to um, um, be easier but it does cost a little bit of money because you have to buy the tools to do it uh, so what we've done is we're going to show you two ways that we do it that way you really have no cost in it other than your typical tools that you would typically have so we use a hammer uh, to pull your fence if you're trying to get it tighter use it pull it on a barb you know if you can put it next to a bar pull it and that way you can get it tighter uh, if you're simply trying to uh, cut your wire we just use simple needle nose snips and that way we have everything we need so i'm going to show you two ways that we tend to do it on the homestead i'm going to show you the first way i like the best now this is what i usually do if i'm doing it in the middle of a fence if it's not next to a pull post or if it's not next to any kind of post at all or tree or anything like that so it's the easiest way and tends to be the best way to mend the fence and and seems to hold up the best um, this is what i use so you take your barbed wire say you have two ends and you see they're broke barbed wire just undoes it's just two wires put together so it's just twilled up so what i do is i untwine it go the opposite way so then you come away with basically two individual wires on each side now you if you have to mend a piece and you have to put a piece in between it's the same thing but basically you're going to have these two ends going together at some point in time what i do is i just simply put them together and now you've got an x basically take one end and you want to twirl now so basically you've got a two pieces of barbed wire that's already twirled this is gaucho so basically it's just two pieces put together and then i'm going to come back around and twirl the two v's or the two crosses onto each other opposite ways basically to where then they tighten up as you pull so again so say you've got that and you see how tight now that's that's kind of loose there but the more you pull and when that pull when you start pulling towards each other it's going to tighten it cinch it down even tighter and basically you've got a piece that is mended together is makes it easy compared to the back it's just a little bit thicker but it tends to hold up better lastly i'm going to show you one more way to do it i tend to not like this way but a lot of people do it and also it's the best way is if you're doing it next to a pull post or you're next to a post that you just need to add new fits you're trying to be quick especially if you are doing this at night and you're trying to keep cows in or horses in or whatever you're trying to keep in real quick this is the easiest way to get you by now this is not the way that's going to last permanently this way does better to me but this this one here i'm going to show you this one what you do is you take your end and you just simply loop it around you use your your same barbs kind of tied around and kind of go straight just around each other so you're twining it again on this side so you do the same thing on this side but what you do is you slide your end in and so i got two circles now this way is not the best way because it doesn't hold tight the more you pull it it could unravel but the more you pull it you're going to keep twisting it and then you're going to basically have two s's sitting in your line so they're going to be real thin when they're all said and done they're going to sit kind of like uh this right here and you'll have a little little hole in there a little figure eight now that stresses me out it makes it kind of jumbled looking and it's kind of bubbled up and and i personally don't like it however as i was showing you on the tree instead of trying to mend it on the pull post or on the tree and then trying to somehow cinch it together i just basically used barbed wire barbed nails and barbed them into the tree that way it made it easier and seems like it's going to hold perfect so depending on what the situation you're in i hope this video helps god bless you want to say it happy homesteading, happy homesteading y'all